Okay, we are gonna open Art Studio Pro. We just click on that. All right, to get our file in, you need to click on that arrow. You're not gonna have any documents in this because you're gonna be opening this for the first time. You just click that plus button and you say new from photos. Go into the camera roll and you pick the photo that you want. All right, now to get the actual lines on our image, we have to do what's called guides. Oh, wait, you need to actually resize the image first. Um, click the image button and say resize the image. Make sure the keep ratio is off. We need to look at our pattern and figure out the width and the height, and that's in stitches. It should be on the very first page of your pattern. In my case, mine is 195. And then I say okay. And then the height of it is 341. And I say okay. And then I just say resize. So it's now resized my image. Now, to get the guides on our image to help us draw the lines, you click on the ruler and you draw down. And you can do that for multiple rows. It's going to snap to the ruler on the left because I have snap turned on. You're going to want to make sure you have snap turned on. That's under the view setting and it's down here on the bottom. Okay, to get vertical lines, we need to pull from the ruler on the left. Okay, now my first page stops on 80 stitches. Make sure you've got the move tool selected and put your finger on that blue line and drag it to the 80. Okay, then we're going to move over and my second page Oops. My sec Dag nabbit, my phone's acting funny. I'm trying to zoom in it. Oh, play. Nice. It is 157. Okay, I got the move tool selected. And now we drag it over to the 157. All right. Now our first row ends at 98. So we are gonna bring that down to 98. All right, our second row ends at 193. So we're gonna bring it down to 193. And my third row ends at 288. So we're going to drag it down to 288. All right, we've got our grids. Now we just want to paint our lines. Oops. All right, pick the pencil tool. And down here on the bottom, you can see that you can change your color. I'm going to leave it at white. You can change your size. And we need to go into this more category. Okay, you, if it's the first time you've opened this, you need to go into this drawing mode. And it's probably going to be set at freehand as your default. In this case, we want it to be line. And we just click outside that menu and it goes away. Now, we pick near that line and we draw our finger across. And because it snaps, you see my line? It's going to snap to that line when I get close to it. And I let it go. There's your straight line. Do the same thing down here. All right, let's see if we can make it work on the straight ones. There we go. There's our vertical and our final vertical. Okay, now we can go back to the move tool. You can A, either drag your guides away or you can go to view and you can click on show and click that and it will hide your guides and there you go you have a finished charted image